Is artificial intelligence safe? A departing researcher breaks the silence. A lead researcher has left a big AI company and they're speaking out. They say that creating super smart AI might not be safe. They left because they didn't agree on what's most important and how to keep AI safe. There's a big push to focus on AI safety, especially because of the problems faced by the OpenAI research team. Issues like not having enough computing power have made it hard to research how to keep AI safe and aligned with what humans want. The lead researcher's departure was driven by disagreements with the company's leadership on what the main priority should be. This disagreement reached a point where the researcher chose to step away from their role. The OpenAI research team has been dealing with a shortage of computing resources. This has raised concerns about their ability to do important research on AI safety. It shows why it's important to have enough resources to develop AI responsibly. Building AI systems that are smarter than humans has big risks and implications. It's really important to focus on safety and responsible development to reduce the risks to people. The team at OpenAI that was looking at long-term risks from AI has been disbanded. This has made people talk about whether the company is really committed to safety and what it means for the whole industry. This change makes us ask important questions about how much we should prioritize safety when it comes to AI. According to OpenAI, co-founder John Schulman, AGI could arrive within two to three years. He emphasized the need for companies to work together and not compromise on safety. He mentioned that we still don't understand AGI well enough. Earlier this month, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman made headlines by expressing his determination to build AGI regardless of the cost. Discussions about this technology have been ongoing for years and gained momentum when ChatGPT was launched in 2022. Tech experts, including AI pioneer Jeffrey Hinton, have often warned about the potential risks of AGI. However, many supporters of the technology believe it can be controlled and will ultimately benefit humanity. As mentioned earlier, Altman has decided to build AGI at any cost. Now, OpenAI co-founder John Schulman has said that AGI AGI will arrive soon, but companies should work together to ensure it doesn't get out of control. When it comes to this kind of technology, there's probably no one better to ask about aligning super intelligent systems than, than the people working at OpenAI. They're truly ahead of the competition. The people working on super alignment are frequently in those paces, watching how these advanced systems are evolving and moving. He said, we urgently need to figure this out, and this is definitely a cause for concern. Many people have made fun of the AI safety crowd and said EAC or E-Accelerate or whatever it is. There was something about the fact that safety culture has become synonymous with cancel culture, but they're simply not the same. Safety is something that we should all be focusing on because the impacts, when you truly look at how dangerous AI could be, are significant. It could literally impact every Every one of us, not just super intelligent AI, but also bio risks, social risks, wealth disparity, and many other things. It really is something that's important. But you know, we guess we might actually have to find out the hard way. He said he joined because he thought OpenAI would be the best place in the world to do this research. However, he has been disagreeing with OpenAI leadership about the company's core priorities for quite some time until they finally reached a breaking point. It's clear that during his time at OpenAI, there have been some issues that he may have brought up. During that time, it seems they weren't taken seriously, and we think that is rather interesting. He says, I've been disagreeing about the company's core priorities for quite some time. So this clearly shows us that this wasn't just a one-time thing. 
for some of the most esteemed and knowledgeable people on AI safety to be leaving OpenAI and just completely disbanding is concerning. It causes anxiety and a huge range of things that you literally just can't predict. OpenAI is competing against another billion dollar company like Google. The problem is that these companies are pushing themselves to get out systems in a faster and faster race. OpenAI has committed to iterative deployment, but we think the problem is that it's a winner-takes-all market, and because Open understands, he gave up his talk compensation in order to speak about this. Something that was only revealed today was that if you leave OpenAI and you want to negatively talk about the company, you can only do so if you give up your stock compensation. So the fact that a company researcher actually did that just goes to show that some of this stuff really does need to be talked. One of the things that most people didn't know was that with OpenAI, there is a compute shortage, and they actually talked about this a lot, which is why they partnered with Microsoft for the 10 billion deal. The problem is that super alignment. In the initial blog post, it was supposed to get like 20% of all of OpenAI's compute, leaving the remaining 80% for other stuff. It's surprising because they had an argument on how they were going to do things, but it seems that it just didn't happen. Recently, some important folks who care about AI safety have been leaving OpenAI. Notably, Ilya Sudskaver and Jan Lake, who led a team ensuring AI works safely and correctly, announced their departures. They're not the only ones leaving, though. Before this article was published, OpenAI didn't comment. However, after Kelsey Piper wrote about agreements for former employees, OpenAI responded, saying they've never taken away anyone's share for not signing an agreement. When Piper asked if this was a new policy, OpenAI said it's just their current practice. Sam Altman tweeted about the exit documents, noting they used to consider canceling shares for those leaving, but are changing that policy now. One former employee, Daniel Coco Tajlo, didn't sign the leaving agreement so he could speak freely about the company. Coco Tajlo was joined in 2022, left last month, and was part of the team focused on making AI safe. Daniel Coco Tajlo joined OpenAI with the hope that the company would handle their powerful AI systems responsibly. However, over time, he lost trust in the leadership and decided to leave. OpenAI aims to create super intelligent AI that can perform tasks as well as or better than humans. Do you think AI is getting out of control? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.